Hi, today I'm going to talk about case study G6PD deficiency. I'm Nona Dewiti Ahmad Azamri. I am Diploma in Medical Laboratory Technology in UNICEF, University Selangor Shah Alam. Overview Patient History Laboratory Tests and Interpretations Disease Etiology and Phytophysiology and Treatment We go to patient history A 2 hour old girl was referred to neonatal unit because of anemia She was born at 37 weeks of gestation by caesarean section done because of fetal detrice after an uncomplicated pregnancy Apgar scroll were at 6 at 1 minute and 8 at 5 minutes Birth weight was 2.5 kg. Then, additional data which is the following. Patient symptoms. Pallor, yellow scleroid, jaundice, oxygen saturation, 100% pulse, 100 per minute, and large liver and spleen and systolic blood pressure with 57 mm Hg. This is an overview about the jaundice. Next, we go to lab tests and interpretations. Paper blood smear, blister cell in G6PD deficiency. What is blister cells? Blister cell and erythrocyte RBC containing one or two sharply defined, usually separate vacuoles. Additional patient history. The mother revealed that she had a meal with a cooked dry flour beans five days before birth. At the time of admission for delivery, her hematologic values and urinalysis findings were within the normal range. For additional family history, found that her father was G6PD deficient too. He had no history of hemolysis. Her mother had normal G6PD enzyme activity levels. This is qualitative G6PD screen. The endpoint color change is observed visually. The result which are normal or G6PD deficient. For quantitative G6PD screen, colorimetric assay used to verify qualitative screen. The endpoint color change is measured with spectral photometer. Next, we go to disease etiology and fetal physiology. This is pity deficiency genetic factors can be inherited by X linked recessive disorder. This X linked is fully expressed in males and homozygous females and is variably expressed in heterozygous females. This is pity deficiency etiology. The two most common polymorphic variants are. First, G6PD Mediterranean Severe Class 3, G6PD A, African descent, Moderate Class 3, Chronic Nosferocytic Hemolytic Anemia is caused by a very small subset of the G6PD mutations which cause a more severe phenotype due to very low G6PD activity. Most are asymptomatic at baseline but triggers can cause acute hemolytic anemia Triggers can cause hemolytic anemia, triggers such as flower beans, infections, and medications. Are you caused this is really deficiency? Yes, red blood cell disruption can be triggered by infections, severe stress, certain foods such as flower beans, and certain drugs, including anti malaria drug, aspirin, nitrofluorotoin, nosterodoin, and Anti-inflammatory drugs, quinidine, quinine, sulfur drugs, other chemicals such as those in most ball can also trigger an episode. Next, fetal physiology. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is an enzyme in the pentose phosphate pathway. In turn, maintains the level of glutathione in these cells can that help protect the red blood cell against oxidative damage. Then, patients with ECSPD deficiency 
are at risk of hemolytic anemia instead of oxidative stress. It can be severe infection, medication, and certain foods. Both beans contain high levels of vixin, divisin, convicin, and insuramia are, are oxidants. This is pathophysiology and clinical features. For the treatment, medical therapy, no preventative treatment to reduce risk of hemolytic events. In the acute phase of hemolysis, blood transfusion might be necessary. Blood transfusion is an important systematic measure as the transfused red cells are generally not disease PD deficient. Dialysis in acute renal failure. Some patients benefit from the removal of the spleen's black anatomy, as this is an important site of red blood cell disruption. Although vitamin C and selenium have antioxidant properties, their use does not increase decrease the instability of PD deficiency. For the primary prevention, the most important measure is prevention avoidance of the drugs and foods that cause hemolysis, for example, fava beans. Vaccination against some common pathogens, example hepatitis A, may prevent infection induced attack. Other preventions, persons with GCSPD deficiency must strictly avoid things that can trigger an episode. Genetic counseling or testing may be available to those who have family history of their condition. Neonatal hyperbilirubinemia may require treatment with phototherapy or exchange transfusion to prevent canicterus. The variant that causes chronic hemolysis is uncommon because it is related to sporadic gene mutation rather than the more common inherited gene mutation. What is treatment? If the patient is presenting during a hemolytic episode, transfusion may be needed if there are significant decrease in RBC. Look for a drug that can trigger episode. Treat any concurrent infections. So, for all this, this is the summary. This is PD deficiency has multiple causes and presentations. Different between qualitative and quantitative, this is PD screens and causes a false negative scene in diagnosis. This is PD is an enzyme that protects astrocyte hemoglobin from oxidation and subsequent denaturation. Evidence individual with a deficiency of this enzyme are susceptible to hemolytic episode following oxygen stress to their red cell. In the Mediterranean type of disease PD deficiency, acute hemolysis can be initiated by the ingestion of fava beans. This is PD, the most common enzyme deficiency worldwide, causes a spectrum of disease including neonatal hyperbilirubinemia, high acute hemolysis and chronic hemolysis. Overall, this is the reference that I get for this case study. And thank you.